Hey everyone, this is Alex USA Days. So one of the questions that I was asked, what is quality assurance? Even though that might be a trivial question, I realized that a lot of people that new to the tech uh, industry maybe don't know what QA is, what it stands for. So uh, I'm gonna have part of it answered by chat GPT and then I'm gonna put in my uh, two cents. So quality assurance refers to systematic process of ensuring that a product or service meets specified requirements and customer expectations. It's a crucial component in the production and development life cycle across various industries, including manufacturing, software development, healthcare, and food services. The main goal of QA is to prevent defects and errors in manufacturing products and business services, rather than detecting them after they have occurred, which is typically the focus of quality control. So um, here's a good determination given QA is preventive, Quality control is actually looking at what already was produced and uh, kind of getting the defected parts out of the system, uh, which would be a different role, right? In the context of software development, quality assurance involves a set of activities designed to ensure that the software development process and the products it produces are of the highest possible quality. That includes process definition and implementation, standards compliance, audits and reviews, testing, quality management, preventive and corrective actions. So uh, quality assurance is aimed at preventive defects during the development phase of software products, which is more cost effective and efficient than detecting and fixing defects after the software has been built. It's an essential part of software engineering process and it's crucial for achieving high quality software products that meet customer requirements and expectations. So, um, in a nutshell, from what I've been uh, understanding QA is uh, after being for 12 plus years in the industry, the main goal of quality assurance is to promote quality across the company, uh, in the team, for the product, in between the teams. So you have to be advocate for quality. Now, your value comes from actually preventing defects. So even though you don't generate um, income as a as a department QA department doesn't generate income for the company but it, it produces va value by saving money so essentially by preventing defects uh, by making sure your product that the company releases is competitive so uh, you produce value in terms of this product is good enough to sell and is good enough to use up to the standards and up to the requirements I'll give you an example. Uh, let's think about the application that you use on your phone, right? If you use an iPhone, right, as a good product, as a product you love, how many of you that use iPhone actually have Google Maps installed and use Google Maps instead of iPhone? Why is that? You might not think that, okay, because one is better than the other as a service, as a product, but that part of being, being better then the other is actually quality assurance as well. Of course, the design, uh, the you know, the ease of use, maybe you got used to the application, but what comes with it, less bugs, right? Uh, the precise directions that are being given, up-to-date maps, so no weird directions, all of that stuff, all of that comes part of the bundle with quality assurance. So quality assurance is making product better, making product more competitive, and as a result, saves money, right? And makes product more profitable because it's better in competition. So if you imagine more uh, world without quality assurance, think about ATMs that give you invalid amounts of money. Think about healthcare applications that give you invalid results. Think about payroll systems where you can't process the payments, you can't log in information properly. Think about enrolling in healthcare benefits and nothing works and loads five times, 10 times. Think about YouTube channels where search gives you invalid search. Think about uh, Amazon where stuff doesn't get delivered to the correct address or you can't reset your password. You get locked out forever out of your account. Yeah, think about maps that give you wrong direction all the time. If you think about world without quality assurance, you know, think about planes, you know, losing doors. Uh, mid-flight, stuff like that. So if you don't have proper quality assurance in place, you don't have a good product. 
if your product is competing on the market, that means you're always going to be worse than your competition if they do in quality assurance and you're not. It's as simple as that. Now, the tendency right now in the modern development, and there are new terminologies that are coming up, shift and left, right? So moving everything closer to the development stage, making sure that testers get involved early, uh, making sure that testers are creating test cases based on the requirements as the requirements being created and refined. And I'm okay with the whole idea of moving QA closer to the development, the processes in place uh, being established as early as the project management and business gets involved. I'm all fine for that. Um, what I don't like in the tendency is saying if we move everything to the left, we don't need quality assurance. Let, uh, let developers test. Uh, developers can create a unit test and integration test and automate as they go. And uh, as a result, we're going to have a robust product with automated testing all over the place. The problem with uh, developers creating testing and testing, uh, most of the time they will be cutting corners just because you know they look at the happy path scenarios on things how they should work. And if it works as it should work, uh, they don't go and test other things or they don't think about other things. Uh, negative scenarios, no exploratory testing, corner cases, some system critical issues. So um, what you will find out as a result, you'll have a product that keeps on collecting those uh, po ne negative possibilities. And at some point it's just gonna blow, blow up. Um, the technical debt around it is gonna hunt you down, gonna chase you down, and it will pop up everywhere in your product. Product will become unusable or barely usable, uh, won't be able to compete on the market and people will go and use something else. So even, I, even though I support idea that everyone is responsible for quality, and developers should test their code. Uh, they should create test cases. Uh, they should do integration testing and maybe even they should write their own automation and put it in place. Uh, that doesn't cancel out quality assurance as a whole part of the process, not at all. Uh, because what quality assurance is doing, they serve as a bridge between project management, client, and development, making sure that the product is up to the standard, up to the regulations, that everything in the product, including negative scenarios, possible corner cases, is well tested. And there's no like mission, mission failure, critical issues happening, right? Now, if, um, if here's my, here's my point. If developer could find a bug, right? they would not write that bug. What I mean is if they knew a bug is there and the, for them it would be easy to detect the bug, they would never put it in the place. They would never code it. Uh, if they look at the code, code looks for them fine. If they test the code and they think that it is fine, that means they will never find and see the bug, right? So canceling out QA, uh, especially if you think about industries that are mission critical, like, um, you know, space industry, or government services, healthcare services, uh, automotive, or let's say, you know, Boeing. Example, what's going on with Boeing right now? Uh, if you don't know, just search on TikTok, go and read in Google with all the uh, weird things happening with Boeing today. So if you cut corners and you exclude QA and put everything on the development, as, a tend as the tendency is happening right now, uh, what in the end you will find out that you build in issues into your product as you go, and you take developers' time where they would, uh, where where they could be developing stuff. Instead, they doing somewhat mediocre testing instead of developing. Um, and I'm not saying that QA should be you know kind of throw it over the fence thing. Like okay, we got QA, they'll test everything. No. QA should be promoting, again, quality is everyone's responsibility. QA is doing quality assurance, but everyone th should think in terms of quality, uh, th think in terms of how users will use it to make the product better. Obviously, you know, 
uh, it's impossible to catch every other every bug out there right it's impossible but uh, the most critical things the most used user pass uh, the mission critical scenarios always have to be covered and verified and testers should be doing testing around those and should be doing exploratory testing around those and should be discovering issue around that uh, the change that's happening uh, is continuous and it's not just the product that is changing. Oftentimes you will find the environment that the product is in is also changing. You, so there are tons of other variables that you have to take in account when you do verification. Okay. All right. So in a nutshell, what is QA, right? Uh, QA a responsibility of the QA engineer is to promote quality of a product and its essential value is coming from saving money by making product better and competitive. Okay. So hopefully that helps. What is QA? This was Alex USA Days. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.